welcome back to my channel um today we're gonna make poor man's pizza my girl honey um destiny 146 here on youtube did a video on it and it took me back to my childhood so um i decided that i was going to make my version of poor man's pizza um it's just brad and i home um today and we were trying to figure out what we wanted to eat for lunch and i was I just told him, what if we had just had poor man's pizza? So, ooh, what you're gonna need is some garlic toast, um, pepperonis, cheese, and you can use pizza sauce or I'm just using spaghetti sauce because that's what we have here in the house. Um, some mayonnaise, and whatever other toppings besides pepperoni you want on your pizza. I have some cut up marinated um, artichokes and some canned mushrooms. So what I'm going to do is get my garlic toast out. And don't mind um, the noises in the back. I'm doing laundry and the dogs are running around so <laughs> you'll hear them. Um, I'm going to place the garlic toast on a pan already lined with um what is this called foil and um i also sprayed it with um some pam so that um nothing will stick to it okay so that's our garlic toast onto my garlic toast i am going to put spoon on some of my spaghetti sauce i like to use spaghetti sauce because um it has all the flavors already mixed in that I like, like the Italian Italian seasonings and stuff like that. So, and that's what we had in the house, so that's why we're using it. So put as much or as little sauce as you like, and then spread it out. If you like it saucy, put a lot. If you don't, don't put a lot. Okay, so I got that evenly spread out. Alright, next what I'm going to do is get our cheese mixture ready. Now, um... Poor Man's Pizza came about because it was something that was just easy. It um, made a lot and um, it was a way to just feed a whole bunch of people. Usually it's made with um, English muffins, but I didn't have any English muffins. All we had was garlic toast left over, so that's why we're using it. Um, in this bowl, I'm going to put maybe two handfuls. Um, of cheese depending on how cheesy you want it and then I'm gonna put maybe about a tablespoon of mayonnaise and this will help make the cheese mixture sp um, oh, I put two, I'm sorry um, help this cheese mixture stretch a little bit more also it'll make it really um, cheesy and gooey and ooey gooey so you want to just mix it up like so. Makes the um, cheese a lot creamier too when you're um, when you're um, baking it. So that looks good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more cheese. It's a little bit um, too wet for me, so I'm adding. This was half a bag of cheese because we used it before, so it's half a bag of cheese. Just mix that all up in there. This takes me back to my childhood for real. Um, my mom would make this a lot for us. Um, I think she still does it with my nephew when my nephew comes over and he wants to eat pizza. So what I'm going to do is take this cheese mixture and plop it onto 
um, the toast and I'm gonna spread it out and it's gonna plop it first and always have clean clean hands when you are cooking that is a rule Now with the back of the spoon, I'm just going to kind of push it and spread it out. This is something to go do with kids. Um, that's why my mom loves to do it with my nephew. My nephew loves doing this with her because he can get in there and get dirty. But then he also likes it that he can put whatever toppings he wants on his pizza. Um, a lot of times he just puts pepperoni and cheese and you know that's what he wants so that's that let me just wash my hands real quick alright so now what I'm gonna do is place our pepperonis on um, you can use whatever kind of pepperoni you want this was on sale at Walmart so um, that's why we bought it. However amount of pepperonis you want to put on here, put on here. It's your pizza. You do what you want to do. And then back here I'm going to put some artichokes. Hearts. I love marinated artichokes. Oh, so good. So, and then I'm going to put some mushrooms on it. These are canned mushrooms. You can use whatever kind of mushrooms you want to use. Fresh is always better. I just didn't have any, but I did have a can. So, that's why I'm using can. But again, like I said, you can use whatever you have on hand <laughs> to make this. That's pretty much why I was, I thought to make this too, because it was, whatever I had on hand is what I'm going to use so this is Brad wanted all of that stuff on his I'm a purist I just like cheese and pepperoni on mine so Mister, there we go so that is it now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes the Texas toast only takes about five minutes to cook um, but we want everything to set and marinate together so I'm going to put it in for 10 minutes, check it, and sometimes I'll even put it in for an extra 5. So 15 minutes total but at 10 minute mark, um, check it. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. And our te Texas Toast Pizza is done. Um, oh it looks so good. What I'm going to do is take one, watch out it's very very hot. Take one up and push this. Oops. Yeah. Take one like that and cut it for you guys so you guys can see the goodness of this. Look how ooey and gooey that cheese is. Oh my gosh. Heaven. <laughs> it's so ooey and gooey. But yeah. So this is my recipe. It's really easy, um, very good um, for college students to try because you can do this in a toaster oven. Very cheap to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this um, first episode of Kylie in the Kitchen. And if you guys try this recipe out, leave a video response below. And thanks again to Destiny146, also known as Honey. Thanks for making this recipe because it took me back to my childhood and I had to do it. So until next time, thank you. Bye.